all right guys so there's this project going on in port Harcourt, and there are three incredible ideas i wanted to steal yeah that's the word i wanted to steal it from this project yeah i'm going to be showing you those three things now yeah that this is me at the airport and over here i've been picked up and we're just heading to the farm you see i'm so excited about this project because the things that i'm going to be showing you they are incredible ideas that i believe if you put to use it's going to be highly beneficial okay so it's a 3000 capacity broiler house yeah this is what we have over here and i want to show you some things outside before we even get inside and i show you those three ideas that i wanted to steal so probably you have some piece of land you know maybe it's just two plots it's one acre one hectare you know 10 hectares regardless of the size of the land and you're looking at going into poultry you don't even know what you can do you see this small piece of land here is holding a 3000 capacity umbrella house and you see even though we're going to be expanding soon or uh, one of the fence over there on the left should be taken down you know you know the owner is already in talks with the owner of the other land and probably we're going to be taking that as well all right so we are getting in now and you can see what we have inside so this is the first idea i want to steal yeah this is the first genius idea i wanted to steal from this project you can see the way the cotton is being pulled probably you're on the farm as a worker uh, or your workers are on the farm and the rain just starts to fall it's very easy to just pull the curtains and cover the house and if you want to fold it up also it's just pretty easy yeah you can see it's just done as the curtain in the house you know it's, it's just easy to open and to close yeah and the next idea is your water line yeah you want to ensure that you automate water as much as you can you can see these two stands here the, the left is how it was before you know it was not as high as i recommended so when i got to the side i actually recommended an adjustment and that adjustment has been made already all right so we're going to the third idea already here you can see this man climbing the skeleton of the roof so that tells you that that place is actually very high so you need your roof to be high but that's not even the idea i want to expose you to right now the third idea i wanted to steal yeah i said it steal it from this project steal it because it's going to help you in your farming experience so the third idea you can see this part of the house is actually the brooding house you don't want to spend all your money trying to heat up the whole tall building so you want to create a secondary roof yeah that's just a little bit over six feet and that's something you want to steal steal that idea all you need to heat up is just this space you don't have to heat up the entire length or the entire height of the building so this is more like helping you to conserve it it's helping you to manage your gas the gas that you're using to provide the heat to generate it for the brooding so this is our brooding house for this space you can see the space that we still have on top and this is this is the space that we don't have to eat up just because we want to provide warmth for the chicks so we're going to be saving on gas in this space yeah we're going to be saving on gas so that's already incredible that's already incredible and in case you're just joining the channel this is diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner don't worry i'm going to be bringing you more videos from this site and even other sites and if you don't want to miss any of those you want to hit that subscribe button right away and if you think that you enjoy the content i brought to you today you want to click that like button because it's going to help me it's going to tell youtube that oh this guy's got some good stuff and you should put it out to other farmers to see all right so thank you for watching and i'm going to be leaving you with some more views just to enjoy and probably get some better details that you have not got uh in the past few minutes so i'll leave you with about one minute more and just enjoy the view.